Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a soda stream machine. This will be an easy tutorial and I'll be going over the basic steps for properly and easily using a soda stream machine. Let's get right into the video. As you can see, this is one of the versions of the soda stream machine. Um, and there are some newer versions and different versions, but they all operate in a very similar way so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure obviously that all of the uh, all of the things are installed correctly on the machine make sure that your cartridge is installed correctly on the machine that will produce the carbonation for the water and then you want to fill up your soda stream water bottle it has to be a specific soda stream water bottle because it has to attach to here properly and you want to make sure that you do not go above the fill line. As you can see right there, there's actually a fill line right over there. Uh, you don't want to go above that um, and you don't want to go too far below that because that is designed that line so that this stem right here, this spout will reach the water and it won't, it'll reach the water but the water will not overflow. Okay, very simple and straightforward. Now what you want to do is you want to unscrew the cap of the bottle that you're using. Okay, put that to the side. Then you want to make sure that your spout is on an angle facing the front of the machine. So if you can see right here, I'll turn it to the side, you can see this is facing the front. Okay, and that means that it's sort of ready to go, but not locked in place for carbonation. Now you want to take your water bottle, okay, insert the spout inside of the water bottle, and twist the water bottle in place. Now hold it carefully because if you let go thinking that you're twisting it, it might just fall. You want to make sure that it's Twist it in place nicely, okay? So it is nice and secure on there, and then I've just kind of shown you the next step. You want to let, let it go down, and now that it, it's sort of straight down, and the spout isn't out, it's straight down, it's ready for action, okay? Now, <clears throat> the carbonation process is pretty simple and straightforward. On this machine, all that you have to do is actually just, um, just there's a lever right here, you're gonna pull it forward, okay? And you're gonna wait until you hear, you're gonna, you're gonna carbonate the water and wait until you hear it go like a, like a sound where it sort of sounds like it's, it's struggling, I guess, that's the way that I look at it. That's when you're gonna let go and that's gonna carbonate the water the perfect amount, okay? Um, on other machines, it's gonna give you different buttons. It's, they're gonna be digital. Um, but essentially, at this point, whatever machine you're using is irrelevant because you're gonna do whatever you need to do to carbonate the water. So on this machine, I'm gonna pull the lever. On another machine, you might have to push a button, okay? So just do whatever you need to do at this point. Um, and if it's, if it's automatic, you're just gonna push the button and wait. Um, and if it's manual like this, you're gonna carbonate until you hear it sort of make that sound and then stop. You don't wanna over carbonate, you don't wanna over pressurize the bottle. So check this out, okay? Just listen closely. So I carbonated it, I didn't hear the sound yet. I released it because I wanted to make sure that you're listening for the sound. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. That's it, that's the sound, okay? You heard that, that's the sound. Now what you're gonna do is release it. Check that out, okay? Then you can unscrew it. This has got to be one of the coolest machines that I've ever used. I was actually turning it the wrong way. So unscrew the bottle, okay, just like that. And then you can put a cap on it. But as you can see over here, I actually have my nice carbonated water, okay? And now once again, the machine is, is ready to go. You're going to make sure that that's forward. It had gone down accidentally, right? If it does that, you know, it's fine. Make sure that it's forward. You want to leave it in the forward position, at least on this machine. But the vast majority of the machines are going to have like a, a ready and then like a ready for action, like a like a, a sort of like a like a, you know no bottle, and then that way it's supposed to be like when you have the bottle in it. But that's it. I have my nice carbonated water ready to go, and uh, I truly hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment, and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.